Hey everyone, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Builderall team. In this video, you will learn how to capture leads using the Magazine Builder. So here we are inside the Magazine Builder app. And to get started, let's go over here and click on Add Magazine. Let's start by giving ourselves a title of the magazine and a description. I'm going to go ahead and leave those the same there. Now here, you could just simply go in here and select a pre-made template, which will include some pre-made pages. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and just start off with a blank template. Now when you start off with a blank template, let's go into edit. You're going to just have one page, which is the cover page. Okay. So what you want to do next is go up here to the plus and select plus two times so that you have three pages. Okay. Now we're going to page over to the very first page, which is pretty much our cover page. Let's go over here real quick and bring in the shape here. I'm going to take this and take it all the way to the top edge and drag it all the way to the bottom edge here. Let's go up here to change the color real quick. Kind of a boring color, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and close out of here and let's go in and add an image. So I'm going to insert a transparent image here by going right here to select image. I'm going to go ahead and select this image right here. Then I'm going to reposition this down here. Now, although I'm not done, at least I've got a little bit of something here on my cover page. But of course, you can go in and add a title page, add a couple of topics, and really, really make this uh, look pretty special. But we're going to go over to the second page and the third page. So when you open up the magazine, right, and you flip over past the cover page, you now have page two and page three. Page two over on your left and page three over on your right. So we're going to work on the left side of the page here. So let's start by going over here, clicking on image. And let's just position this up a little bit. So once you've selected the image here, right, your properties will come up. So all we have to do is go in and select an image. And for this example, we're going to pull this one right here. And just kind of readjust your image. So let's go ahead and do that. So this image here, let's go in and click it again. And let's go add a URL to make this image clickable. So over in my notepad area, I'm going to go ahead and just copy paste uh, this URL that I have here. And I'm going to bring it right in here. And next what we could do is go over to the text area, add a text. So here it is here. And let's go ahead and type in and let's center this. Let's go ahead and make it bold. Let's change the color on this a little bit and let's also change the size. So let's make this how about size 20. Okay. Now what you could do is let me go ahead and place enter here and move this up a little bit. Now what you could do is click on your text and do the exact same thing. Add the URL to your text. So now we have a clickable image that will take your site visitor, your magazine reader, to your landing page, right, where you can capture them as a lead, or they can click on this text as well. Now, my image has a button on the image, right? So this too looks a little bit clickable, and you can make it clickable. All you have to do is just go back to your shapes, add shape, and let's go ahead and click on this box here. Next, let's go ahead and resize the box and make it about the same size here. Okay, there you go. Now what we could do is go to the URL of that box and add the URL and then drop down to where it indicates transparency. So if you move this all the way to zero, now you can see the actual button and now people can click on it. So now let's go over to the next page. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add a video. And how to do that is we're going to add a frame here by clicking that. Okay. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add an image. So let's go ahead and select this one right here. Five minutes with the CEO. So next, let's go up to a window that I have opened, which is the actual YouTube video that holds the code. Now, if you're not familiar on how to get a YouTube embedded code, all you have to do is look up the video that you want open it up and then go down here to share. Let's go ahead and select embed and then just click in this area here and then you can copy it. 
Let's go back into the magazine builder here. And under embed the document is where you want to paste that code. Now, once you've pasted the code, we're pretty much all set. So you can have this video basically talk about anything, your features, your benefits, the opportunity. And then down below, you can have a call to action button. So let's go ahead and create that. Again, we're going to create a box here or a rectangle. So let's go ahead and make that a little bit smaller here. Let's go ahead and change the color of the box to red. Now let's close this up. Next, let's go ahead and add a text field. So we're going to use the words, give me access. We're going to center that. So I go ahead and bold. And let's go ahead and make this right at about 18. Change the color to white. I'm going to go to the very first character and in front of it, then select enter. Okay. So when I drag my text right up here over my button, right? Now I could just make this right here, make the text area a little bit bigger than the actual button. And that looks about right. And the reason why we want to do that is because when we click on the text again, there's the URL to your landing page. So we're going to go ahead and include it right here. And just as a quick reminder, when you do this, um, it's probably best to select a new bookmark versus the same tab, uh, because if they click outside and go to your website, then they're going to um, be taken away from your magazine. OK, so something to really think about right there. Now, going back to the video that we've inserted here, right? If we click on it, you may wonder why it asked to select an image or upload an image. And I'll explain that here in just a bit. So let's go now and double check our pages here. Now let's go right up here to publish. So let's go over to this next page. And now if I right click here and I go into open new window, it's going to take me to the actual landing page. Same here. If I were to click into this area, it's going to take me to the same exact place. And then down here you have clickable text. Now here's your video. You can go in and select play. What is the difference between a sales fund and a website? And why you do need both? Hi, I am Eric Salgado, CEO and founder of BuildItAll.com. So there you go. So your video is now playing. Now you can again create a video with a call to action. For them to click down on the button down below and here we are we can click here and it will take us again to the landing page where you can capture a lead okay so now what i want to do is go back to the editor here so here we are at the youtube video so now let me go up here to pdf file and convert this into a pdf file so now let's go take a look at the pdf file so here's the pdf file now let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Now when I go to the second page, everything is going to work just as we planned it, right? But down here, you won't be able to play the YouTube video because it will not play inside a PDF file. Instead, it's going to take that image that you uploaded and place it in here. So if you're going to be sharing this as a PDF file, what you're probably going to want to do instead is go back into your editor and change this out for an image that looks like a clickable video. If you take the image, for example, just like this, and you insert it right in here, then people will think, well, I want to watch the video. I'll click play and it won't instantly play inside the PDF file, but it will take them to the actual link where they can still watch the video. Just something to think about. And that is how you capture leads using the Magazine Builder. I hope you found the content in this video helpful. Until next time, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Builder All Team.